Peter Mori, Chief Revenue Officer at Future Technologies. And if you're like a lot of our customers, you don't give much thought to tower inspections. When we ask about the last time their towers were inspected, we often get a blank look and a response that goes something like, hmm, the towers have been in place for 10 years and um, never inspected. So skipping inspections can be a recipe for disaster, raising the possibility of failure, injuries, and liability. In addition to all the other things we do in site development, like site acquisition, all the permitting, environmental, and A&E work that leads up to construction, we also do a lot of tower inspections. And I've asked Valerie Shortino from our site development division to give us an overview. Hey, Val. Hi, Dave. If you could talk about recommended inspection intervals, benefits, and the kinds of things that are checked out during an inspection, that, that'd be great. The TIA recommends um, maintenance and condition assessment um, shall be performed once every three years for a guide tower and once every five years for a self-supporting towers. Towers used, used for essential communications or those that represent a high hazard in the event of failure. Towers in coastal regions or corrosive environments or towers subjected to frequent vandalism require more frequent assessment and maintenance. Towers should also be assessed after severe seismic events, wind and or ice storms. So guide towers every three years, self-supporting towers every five years. Benefits of regular inspections. Um, reduces maintenance costs by identifying treating problems early, um, greater operational efficiency um, by extending the lifespan of aging structures, minimizing risk um, by prevent preventative measures uh, that avert tower failures and potential injuries and death to tower workers and the general public. Um, types of tower inspections. Um, general um, inspection, condition assessment um, inspection, and tower mapping inspections. Um, the general inspection um, is a high level visual examination of the structure um, to identify any damage. Um, condition, condition assessment um, is a more in depth evaluation of, of the structure and its components, um, including attachments, and this requires specialized training. And then mapping. Um, tower mapping uh, locates all attachments on the tower. Um, structural mapping um, documents size and shape of structural members, gusset plate dimensions, tower ge geometry, and other critical components for structural analysis. And then the basic components of a tower inspection, uh, foundation, footings, um, structural verticality, structural conditions, um, note deformities, cuts, warping, bending, corrosion, um, connections, making sure they're tight and secure, um, attachments and integrity, um, the FAA lighting obstruction markings and safety components and um, grounding protection. So Val, help me out here. Structural verticality. Is that a fancy way of saying uh, is the tower leaning? And <laughs> that's correct. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. That's all really good information. And uh, you know, I'm willing to bet that most people aren't aware of the recommended inspection timing. So so that's great. You know, we climb a lot of towers, building and maintaining wireless networks we'll never compromise on safety and sometimes we're confronted with a tower that our, our crew deems unsafe to climb. Most of the time this comes as a surprise to the customer and results in delays uh, as the remedial work is done and increased cost due to remobilization. Tower safety is definitely one area where you don't want to cut corners. So check your records and give us a call to get those towers up to date. If your records are inadequate, as many are, we can also complete the tower mapping, structural analysis, and provide construction drawings. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, stay safe out there.